Hey everybody, welcome back to the Metal Gear Solid, Metal Gear, Metal... Recollection. W welcome to the, the non-wood equipment recollection, part 13. Here we are, we're dressed up as this fucking fairy. <laughs> and we're gonna go over here, and we're gonna... Oh, I forgot to show off, you can do a little salute by holding down the fry angle button. Or in this case, the Y button. And, uh... Here we are about to do some awesome bullshit. Do you like awesome bullshit? Yes, I do. I like awesome bullshit. <laughs> Anyways, no, this this uh, this next area, there's more of a plot dump and some really cool things plot-wise happens. Also, that must be a very realistic mask for him to be able to just pop it on and look like other guy. But, you know, suspension of disbelief, mission impossible, blah, 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 blah. Oh, some shit's happening. Contact with the enemy is strictly prohibited. Oh, man. What about the Philosopher's Legacy? Dun, dun, so, dun! So here we are with the spies worried more about the Philosopher's Legacy than um, the other stuff again. Uh, the other stuff being, you know, the fact that Volgan launched a nuke and blah, 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 blah. This leads you to believe that there's much more going on than what you actually see in the gameplay and on screen. And I wonder if we'll learn about any of that. She's totally fucking with him. It's lipstick. <laughs> Draw a dick on his forehead with the lipstick. Also, isn't she wearing different boots? Uh, no. I don't believe so. She just wears her froofy little jumpsuit over it, I think. So it looks different. So this idiot doesn't look at her and immediately go, Oh, that's Eva. Are you serious? Which is stupid. It's stupid. Snake, you're stupid. Tony, you're quiet. <laughs> Unnecessary, sir. Yes, you're right. You're the man from the CIA. Weren't you dead? Didn't you get fucking brutalized? Brutally sodomized? Didn't the boss get you with her brutality last time? Animality. Didn't the boss turn you into a baby or rip your spine out of your back and then eat it or something? <laughs> Didn't your game have a cameo like some from kind of Predator? Yes, like some kind of feminist. Uh, I just completely lost you, I think. Ball! Nope, there you are, being loud and screaming balls. So here, this is actually where we learned the whole point of the stage two of the Shagohod. Which All is right, that makes sense. Really, really cool. Because basically, that thing on his back is an ICBM launcher, but it's a medium range one. Okay, so this basically, explains a lot. Yeah, basically, there's no way for something you can equip on there. There's no way something you can equip on there is able to actually fire from Russia and hit America. So, what do you do? You phase two the shit. It's super cool that they show this. That they show yeah. this in like a little like vignette. Mm-hmm. We can't reach. Give it more distance by it's such, speeding up the platform. It's such cool super science. Or not super science. Pseudoscience. That's the word I was, I was looking for. See, the thing that can the, that's interesting to me, but I, I feel like that isn't a thing. Like, that doesn't work. Like, if I fire... If I fire a bullet out of a moving car, it's not going to affect the speed of the bullet that much. Right? Not unless that car was a rocket car. I mean, if if it's a rocket, maybe that's a different story. But look at this. Mm -hmm. That's really, really cool. That's a really cool workaround to limitations of technology at the time. I like the, 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 the workarounds to limitations of technology that this game has. Because um, they kind of disregard that in the next two games. In Peace Walker and Metal Gear Solid V, they're just like, no, we have the technology. <laughs> like, seriously, there's holograms in Metal Gear Solid V. Yeah, there's like a, a handheld like hologram projecting the thing. There, there's working, modernized, artificial intelligence in Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. Nothing to say. 
It's a mobile fortress capable of deploying its Oh, I lost you again. But are there cat girls? Um no. What? <laughs> you're, you're not shocked to learn that there's working artificial intelligence in 1970s in Peace Walker? No, but I want to know if there's cat girls. <laughs> that has nothing to do with us. <laughs> Some bitch. Um, but yeah, I love the fact that they, they have workarounds to the technology. Or like in the case of those floating platforms, they're like, oh, well, it didn't work very well, but once we strapped a jet engine to it, it worked okay. It worked perfectly. I mean, well enough for a video game, anyways. But that's that kind of stuff's really cool. Uh, sure. Yeah, but the technology in in Peace Walker and V are kind of so they're so fantastical and so yeah, fantastical is a good word for it. That it's just like you really, really have to suspend your disbelief even more than you do in the rest of the series, and you get away from that once you get out of. Um, uh, Peace Walker V and Metal Gear One and Two. Once you get out of those those four games, um, it goes back to kind of pseudo realism, but not really realism reality. Um, where it's like, okay, I could see that existing, but it's not like you know AI in the 1970s. No, that's retarded. A little bit. I mean, uh, get with it, game designers. You bet. No, 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 no. I mean, I totally get it. That's one of the reasons that this is that that when I chose my word to describe this, I said anime, because a lot of anime is the suspension of disbelief. A lot of anime is the suspension of disbelief and and the the ability to uh, invest in the fantastical. And you get you get I love it. you get a lot of that in the Metal Gear series, which is why I would say it's not just a straight spy thriller, etc. Um, and I mean, in this game, this game parallels like the Bond films a lot more than um, any other pseudoscience thing. Because I mean, in the Bond films, it's like we have a laser from the moon and Moonraker, and we have a we have a guy whose jaws can break steel bars, and it's like okay, well, you know. Some crazy freak human could po possibly do that, and I guess if you threw enough money into lasers in the 70s and 80s, you could maybe, maybe get that shit to work, but probably not. Probably not. So you, so you got, you got to kind of hit your believe button. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, see, so he does know that that's Eva, but for some reason he's still hiding away from her. I don't know. Oh no! Snake, you're about as fickle as a female. She's banging Vulgan. She's banging him super hard. She's not banging. He's banging her. This is my lover. Look, it's my waifu. <laughs> a little Boy. bit, of, a little bit of foreshadowing here that he's like, "Here's a picture of my wife and kids. Are you emotionally invested in me now?" Because you should be. You should be. This poor guy gets it so bad. Kind of like Grannon. All he wanted to do was do space stuff. He's the Werner von Braun of the fictional Metal Gear universe. Mm. Which, if you know who Werner von Braun is, then good. If you don't, then get learned on. Get learned on. Get learned on, bruh. Yeah. Well, learn yourself then. <laughs> go to school, ass fuck. Go to all go learn ya something. Wiki that shit. Um... <clears throat> What wiki's for but yeah this poor guy all he ever wanted to do was build space rockets and here he is building intercontinental ballistic missile tanks and that's, missile tanks. and that's i mean like i've said a million times probably once every fucking episode that's a running theme is these poor bastards being used to build their own stuff yeah they just want to do science stuff and then evil men come and take their ideas and by force and Make the one to do the whole anime take over the world. Dude, the craziest example of that is in Metal Gear Solid V, and a lot of that, a lot of that game's story is t is told through, uh, a lot of that game's story is told through cassette tapes that you can play during gameplay. So it will be played during like random gameplay missions and stuff like that. Just yes. enough, just enough to get the story in there. Mm -hmm. And I have a feeling since the story is so sparse in that game, sparse in that game that will uh, end up being a little quieter through the through the cutscenes and everything like that just so that you can pay more attention to what's going on right but yeah so here he is lamenting lamenting about all the shit he's 
been forced to create. Mankind. Doesn't benefit mankind. I feel like I feel like this is a terrible place to be having this conversation. Yeah. We're just hanging out. Like Vulgan's room is like right down the hall. It's just a point in time he can come in and is like, what the fuck's going on in here? Right down the hall. He's sitting in there. He's sitting in there in like a gimp mask waiting for somebody. And you think I'm joking. I'm not. <clears throat> I know you're not. Scientists always being used. There we go. Back to the themes. Back to the things I makey talky about. Oh, look, my child and my wife. I hope nothing happens to me. Shut up. No, shut up. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. There's a man with red booties. He's wearing that Gucci. Oh, no. Hey. Okay, one person. I've been person... waiting for you for 25 minutes. One person in this room is about to get banged. You two eeny miny mo it out. Rochambeau each other for it. The one without the broken testicle. Oh. oh! Speaking of testicles. What the fuck? Does it again. I don't think you'd be able to tell who somebody is based on feeling their package through three layers of clothing. Well, technically, doesn't he wear like a Speedo? Yeah. Oh, you think he's feeling for the Speedo and instead he feels like dumb American boxers and shit? If he wears boxers. My wife is telling me to make something for dinner that involves bacon and red peppers. Chili. Ooh, you know what? I'm cool with a little bacon chili. <laughs> the problem is, the problem is, none of my, none of my beans are. Oh, oh shit! Damn. Oh the fuck! Kneecap the motherfucker! Oh shit's going down, bros. Pa -pa. Yeah, yeah. So, sets the precedent that Snake can catch this guy off guard and manhandle him. But then, she comes out of nowhere and still totally fucks his shit up. Like, at least at this point, you see at least a little bit of a willingness to fight and the ability to kind of hold his own. But he still gets his ass handed to him. He's growing. Yeah. The the evidence that, that he's developing as a character and developing his this fairy disguise, I love it. <laughs> the evidence that he's growing a character is... is is there in his interactions with these two main bad guys, the boss and Volgan. Yeah, rip his face off to take, show his face with the face. Anyways, to go back to what I was saying, yeah, like the beans, the, the like, I would want to put beans in my chili because beans and chili is fucking good. And yeah. I don't have those things. I don't have those things ready. They haven't been soaking for 24 hours. Granted, I could right now pull out the, the beans put them to a boil and then simmer them for the next six hours and they would be in pretty much the same state uh, before I throw them in the chili but uh, I don't want to do yes. that also my also my slow cookers fucked up my wife decided to uh, my wife decided to run the top through the dishwasher and the uh, the screw came off and bad things happened and so now I don't have a, 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 a top for my fucking uh, slow cooker for now which pisses me off that like sucks. I could technically still use it, but god damn it, wife, you don't put shit like that in the dishwasher. You should know this. You are you are the Martha Stewart of your era. You should know this. You both went to cooking school. That is correct. Although they don't really go over using crock pots in cooking school. <laughs> They're more like here's 150 different ways to make tiramisu. Okay, have you learned yet? <laughs> Look at Ocelot just eating it up out there. Actually, he kind of looks pissed off. They both kind of seem pissed off. Everybody's pissed off about the situation that they're in. The boss seems especially pissed off, which, considering the position she's in, shouldn't be, shouldn't be the case. But if you if you notice, I mean, she's conflicted about this. Yeah. Because she and Snake pretty much have the same connection, except you know she's the mentor character and he's the mentee character. She's probably pissed at him for not for getting caught. Probably. Because that does kind of fuck up the situation. So Which did they situation seriously not here? Teach... Let me pull up my shirt here. Did they seriously not this teach Snake how to box? This situation, bro. Oh, you stupid. I hate you. 
You know, I think I think I think he's just tired. Or the That's fact, true. or the fact that he knows that even if he does fight his way out of this situation, he's not going to be able to fight his way out of this situation with Ocelot and the boss right outside the door. And I mean, at this po at this point, he he's suffered like several concussions. He's just all kinds of fucked up. Look at him. Uh, cut me, oh, cut me, Nick. Deal. Surprising you don't have a broken nose from that when you get into the uh, the gameplay. Are Later you kidding on. me? Do you not remember the horse? So this is the end of Metal Gear Solid 3. Snake gets beaten to death by a bisexual lightning man in a room next to a man who's been shot in the knees. And that's it. <laughs> end of the series. Bye. Let's play canceled. Had a save? Just kidding. I will data save. Actually, no. I will not data save. What? Yeah. It's a bad idea, bro. That's not where I want to start my new LP, motherfucker. Oh. Oh no, the screen is blank. What does that mean? Stop it. Well, we're not talking about. So now he knows he's got he's got his American agent. Now he knows that he can pretty much beat the shit out of everybody to find the spy because nothing bad's gonna happen if he fucks with the spy at this point. I know you gave the data to someone. This is great. You. It's great. Every game has some sort of, not, uh, maybe not torture scene. Every, mm, every game Difficult up to, choice. Every game up to this point had some sort of capture or torture scene. Up to this point. He kind of got away from that a little bit in some of the later games. Um, like V doesn't have that section, if I remember correctly. I don't think 4 has it either. I don't like I said. I, Four is the only game I haven't played. I know all the story beats, but I'm gonna be going into that LP fresh. Damn. Which is which might be trouble, but I mean it's gonna be one of the very end ones. It's gonna be the finale. If people are still sticking around at that point, um, well, you still have me. I mean, I played that game so many. I played that that game as many times as you played this one. You're gonna have to be. You're gonna have to be the the mentor to my cheese sandwich. I don't know where I'm going with that, but you're going to have to be okay. Look, asshole. You know what? I've played one part of that game, and it's the fight with uh, Vamp. Good, which is that's one of the harder parts. Which isn't a spoiler. Yeah, and I did I did okay with that. And we won't, we won't give away what's going on with that or who Vamp is or what's happening. Oh, man, I'm being fucked up here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. he's touched. Ow! He's touching my tips. Oh, you can do something with your stamina, I remember that. Oh, he's that. giving me a nipple twister. Or is it your health? I thought, I thought that was the case, but it's not, like I'm jamming on the button and it's not working, so I just kind of have to sit here and take it. It's not like other games where it becomes a legitimate minigame to avoid the torture death. Mm, maybe this is just an MGS4 thing, because I know in that one you can, you can like during the cutscenes and stuff, yep. you can actually hit buttons and it'll really, either, I think it's either your health or your stamina that goes up. No, it's the same in certain sections in the original Metal Gear Solid, I think two as well, and yeah. <laughs> oh man, look at me with a bag on my head. Looks like a plastic bag too, I didn't know they were able to make plastic in, uh, in you know, old fucking Russia. Fake light. Electric charge of 10 million volts? Let's see how you like this. That's ridiculous. When the hell did he change his trousers to tiger stripe? Um, it's it's just happening. Shut up, deal with it. Video games, so, nano machines. So now I'm getting straight up electrocuted. So to go back into how fucking tough this guy is. He gets the shit beat out of him. He gets multiple concussions. He gets ridiculously electrocuted. And even worse shit's gonna happen to him here in the future. Aren't they? Near future. Yeah. And he still pretty much walks it off after a while. <clears throat> Actually, I'm just kidding. This is the end of the game. He gets tortured to death. Deal with it. Deal with it. Those other games didn't happen. You see a skeleton. It's all a dream. You get to the end of you get to the end of Metal Gear Solid 4 and he wakes up from a coma here in the torture Pisses room. himself. And he dies. Yeah, well, no kidding. He's being electrocuted ridiculously. I'd shit myself, probably. You poop your Ow. pants. Look how pissed off she is. It's me. Meow. He's not going to talk. <laughs> Every time he's on screen. Meow. Why'd they let him keep his radio? He's never going to live that down. 
That's a good question. Maybe they don't know what radios are in Russia. <laughs> what do you mean you get to listen to baseball game? In Russia, baseball game listen to you. No. In Russia, bisexual man fuck you. Wait. With electricity. Whoa. He is just fucking you up. Just brutalizing your holes, man. This is actually a really brutal torture section. It's one of the worst ones in any of the games. It's not that bad. Well, if yeah. You were, if you were sensitive to this kind of stuff, maybe. Yeah. But if you're not, if you're not as fucked up as me and you, then. Nah. Hashtag All Lives Matter. <laughs> Hashtag. Now that's rough. He's job. treating him like a straight up punching bag. He swung him back and hit him with the momentum of him coming forward. Did he just cough up a transmitter? Where the fuck did that come from? Stomach. He literally beat it out of the guy. <coughs> oh, no kidding. I feel like that might not actually be the case. <laughs> well, I feel like that might not actually be the case because watch what Ocelot does with it later. Someone put it in him. And think, and I'm, yeah, somebody's I'm thinking put it, it might have been Ava. I think it was Ocelot. And I'll show you why uh, later. But think about who he's had physical contact with. At this point, who he's had physical contact with. Who, Snake? Yeah. Not Ocelot. Who, yeah. When? Um, when he, you're right. <laughs> but Ocelot shoots him, you made him and if you see later what he does with the transmitter, you're going to go, oh. But I don't want to ruin the ending because I know all about him. Just shut I'm up. Saying Just it was... shut up. Oh, Just God. shut up. It could have been Ava. It was, <gasps> it was the pain. One of, yeah. his, one of his bees was carrying a transmitter in a camelback. A bee-sized camelback. <laughs> <laughs> Bees buzzing stab, around stab, like... Stab, stab, Buzz, buzz. Oh, Jesus. Is she going to stab him? She's going to fuck him up. If you look back at this torture scene later, it it's really interesting, once you know all the motivations of all the characters in this room, the fact that everybody has a stake in whether or not this guy actually survives. Oh, God, this is rough. <laughs> Literally, at this point, everybody except Volgan in this room has a stake in whether or not the, or whether this guy survives. And that's that's kind of giving away a lot. And I don't... Eh, yeah, well, not really. No, it, it is kind of giving away a lot. Because uh, you don't know everything about all the characters in this room at this point. Tatiana. Tatiana. Oh God! Spy. What are you talking about? I know that smell. It's pussy. <laughs> oh, look at the handprint on his face. Volgan's oblivious. Volgan's just like, you want to have sex with the woman? And he's like, no, God damn it! I want to test her. So also to show you how much of a badass snake is, this is going to be, some shit's going to happen here. Some shit. Vulcan's just like, I don't give a shit, fucking shoot her. I'm still going to bang my twin. And he do, he's always doing this shit. And Snake is lucid enough after that brutal fucking beating to know that shit's about to go down and actually do that. And then, bam! Ha! Pops his eye. That is fucking brutal. Boom! <laughs> He's getting slapped by all the women in the room. Satisfied now, you little 19-year-old fuck. Uh, pay attention Pay attention to the interactions between the boss and Ocelot as well. Um, 
Oh wow, that made him horny. Pay attention to the interactions between the boss and Ocelot here as well. Um, actually throughout the entire game, and I will explain why during the credits of this game. Uh, I don't think they ever... What did he do? Fuck. What did he do there? Uh... He jammed a transmitter into him. Bitch. So he knows how to use the transmitter. Watching this has made me realize um, but beyond that... Um, it's really not that no, pay attention to the bosses and Ocelot's interactions throughout the course of this game. And like I said, I will explain why in the credits, and that's going to make you go, Oh, man, that's crazy. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to geek the, geek the fuck it's out. It's actually really, really credits. cool, and, it, and it, it, it's been used in fan theories to answer a lot of questions about things that happen later in the series. Um, but yeah. <clears throat> So Ocelot's just happy with himself, even though even though he's been slapped around by a bunch of women. He's he's going to he's going to his battered husband's uh whatchamacallit group. He's going to a support group, that's the word. She just shoot him? She just shot him in the leg. Oh. 144.7575. Tells him to run. Oh man, I wonder why she's saying that. Maybe there's maybe everything that's going on isn't as it seems. Mm. Oh my God, Becky. That would suck if he's right hand dominant, right hand or right eye dominant. Okay, we you 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 say that he he is right hand and right eye dominant. He goes around firing the weapons throughout the rest of the series right handed, with absolutely no effect on whatever. Mm -hmm. Which means either well, he's it. either he's straining his neck super hard, which you don't see in any of the cutscenes when he's missing his eye, or yep. he's just so fucking good that he doesn't need to aim. <laughs> hit fire! Hit fire! Hit fire! And get that with the M sixty three. Yup. So or one four four point seven six five seven five sixty nine. One four four one four four point seven five is going to come in handy sooner here, but um, I'm not too worried about it right now because I don't think we're actually going to use it. Although we will, so shut up. Deal with it. Hashtag deal with it. Hashtag brick squad. Hashtag squad goals. Hashtag Trump twenty sixteen. Hashtag Bernie Sanders twenty sixteen. Motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> uh, he doesn't understand how economics work. No. I like his ideas from a romantic standpoint, but he doesn't understand.